All right, so what the algorithm and the scripting does in 2K is it makes it very difficult for uh, your offense to flow and run smoothly, right? So a lot of the regular routes and scenarios in real life basketball that would uh, result in an easy bucket, they've scripted a lot of it to not go so smoothly for you. So you have certain passes and certain opportunities to get things done, you know, uh, they they know they, they've programmed it to understand how to impede on your progress. So check it out right here. Look at what happens right here. Alright, so one more time. Let's play it from this side. One more time. Look what happens right here. Right. So you know, maybe you already understand what I'm about to break down, right? So I see an opportunity, you know, the clock is running out. Uh, I see an opportunity to basically get an easy bucket, but the algorithm understand it does not want that to happen. It does not want you to be able to just get off like that. So what it does right here, when I uh, attempt to pass the ball, I see my man coming up and he's, you know, he basically breaks on his defender, right? So he's, he's got the, you know, he's got the up on his defender. He's got the drop on him. He's on his way to the basket. He's slightly ahead of him, even though the game, you know, sort of allows him to, to uh, kind of uh, get in front of my guy. You can even see, like, he just slides right over, right? But, and when I try to pass him the ball, soon as I try to pass, instead of him flowing, continue to flow towards the basket, when I pass him the ball, he breaks off and runs to the other side of the defender, right? Now, I've talked about this many times before, and I usually mention this with the, uh, the pick and roll. But it happens in other instances of the game where you have, like right here, you have a man that's on uh, uh, that's on one side of a defender and you're trying to pass him the ball and the game will force him to sort of slip through a slip pass and, and you know, get on the other side of the defense so that uh, when you pass it to him, you wind up getting a turnover because now the defender is between you and the guy that you're trying to pass the ball to. And that's exactly what happens right here and it fucks up the whole play. This is an easy bucket right here, right? That was a very easy bucket. That's a very easy bucket, right? But they forced my man to switch it up and all right, I'm gonna run over to the other side of this guy for no fucking reason whatsoever and lose the ball. Right, a scenario where we had an easy point is blown now. And this is what the algorithm does. It's scripted to do this type of stuff right here. People have to understand, it, this is not accidental. It's not that the game is flawed. It's not that, you know, it's something wrong with it or that it's messed up or anything like that. These are not really problems, right? It's purposefully coded and, and, and scripted to do the things that I point out on this channel, which is the whole point. It's not that it's a flawed game. It's purposefully been done, right? What you're looking at right here. This is done on purpose because the algorithm is deciding, no, you're not gonna get that bucket. We don't want that to happen. You know, that they're, they're trying to always correct or, or balance things out for the, um, for the computer's uh, uh, sake, for their benefit, right? Because if they're not doing this, and you're just able to get everything based upon how well you're playing and your IQ, you just wind up blowing computer out 100% of the time that you play them, right? So they have to put little brain farts and little slips all and, and uh, slips all throughout the game, uh, uh, predetermined narratives and whatever, whatever the case may be, right? It's all scripted, right? It's all uh, agenda and narrative driven, right? But that'll do it for this video, peace.